Mandinkas say, the Mandinkas are a great West African tribe. They are kings and noble people. The Mandinkas say the world is old, but the future springs from the past. The world is old, but the future springs from the past. It springs from the past like a lion. Uh, the African people who were brought here were great people. And the crime that was done to them is one of the greatest crimes in humanity. And one of the greatest things in that crime was not just the fact that they were packed into boats and they were sent across the Atlantic and they were enslaved and they were oppressed. But one of the greatest parts of that crime is that they were denied their roots and their identity. Uh, there are no black people in Africa. Africans are tribes. And those tribes are very important. And those tribes have marks. And they have culture. They have language. They have depth. And when you destroy that, you destroy very, very much. And Malcolm X was the best. He was certainly of the best. I know a woman in the Gambia who has a great gift of looking at Africans, and she knows immediately their lineage. And uh, so I took the opportunity to show her some pictures. And I showed her the picture of Malcolm X. She said, Fulani. This is a Fulani. I also showed her the picture of Imam Zaid. She said, Fulani. Imam Zaid's a Fulani. Then a sheikh who has a lot of secrets that deal with the past, he told me, and he said, the lineage of Malcolm X goes back to the great jihad of Uthman bin Qodiyal. That this is where his ancestors come from. And he said, Imam Zaid is the same thing. So these are the best. You know, the world is old, but the future springs from the past. And um, it is not a coincidence that Allah chose this amazing man to be a meteor of great good and light in this country. Um, Malcolm was one of the greatest human beings that has ever been seen on this side of the Atlantic Ocean. He was a man of truth. He was a man of truth. And he was a man of truth. That his whole life is a search for that truth. And it is a commitment to follow it wherever it leads him. When Malcolm was in the nation of Islam, he built the nation of Islam. And he gave it its soul. And he believed that it was the true teaching. And when he learns that there is more to Islam than that, then he goes to that as well. And he goes to it with great conviction, great diligence, courage, the ability to sacrifice. And he's always smiling. You know, and this is part of the inheritance, the, the, the inheritance of the Prophet وسلم, that was given to him. That he always has the smile of paradise upon his lips. You know, he is created to be a she shaheed, a martyr, a witness to the truth. And he has that beauty, that bliss of the garden that is with him all the time. Malcolm, wa he, Malcolm was a genius. Malcolm was a brilliant human being. But Malcolm was, was grounded in the earth. He understood reality as it is. And he worked with reality in an extreme way. <laughs>